what sound, what sound, what sound, what sound, people? Let me cut that down for you. Man, what is happening? This is me. You see who it is. I appreciate everybody for stopping by. I really do. Regardless of what anybody might tell you. So let's jump right into it. Um, people protesting. Yes, this is part two of that, by the way. People are protesting Colin Kaepernick. That's what they're doing. The man wasn't kneeling because he was disrespecting the flag. The man was kneeling because of social, social injustice. The killings of black, unarmed black people by the police. You know, that's the kind of things he was kneeling for. He wasn't kneeling because he was, oh, I don't like the flag. I'm a bullshit American. I don't like America. No, bro, that's not what the man was doing it for, man. Leave the man alone about that. You know, when he get on TV and say some off the wall crazy stuff like the president of the United States did. He said he wants y'all boys fired and suspended. Them son of a bitches. Whoa, the president just said that? Technically, they can sue the president for this defamation of character for that. Can't be cussing nobody out, press. And you the president of the United States of motherfucking America, motherfucker, America. Man, how you gonna be doing some stuff like that? But the man did it, you know, he the president. Obviously, he can get, get away with the hell he want to. I mean, but at the same time, I don't feel what he said, which is so, so bad to where they gotta, whatever. But let's let, let me let me let me review for y'all right quick. Let's go back a little bit. He didn't let's not even talk about him. I need to shave. Woo. Let's talk about the fact that all these athletes want to come out, these teams and these owners want to come out all of a sudden when the president gets involved. Because now it's it's bigger than it's ever been. You see what I'm saying? So now it's like it went from like a a six, maybe a seven, to like a twelve. It went from it went. It's a it's a straight ten now, because the president is on it in his own media every day. Sports Center can't even come on without them talking about it, because the president in it now. You know, people like Ray Lewis and Jerry Jones and all them people want to get into it and do it now. You know, uh, for, for somebody like Ray Lewis, he said he was praying. That's why he was on his knees. Come on, man, you keep it real with us. We know why you was on your knees, boy. But where was you at when Kaepernick first started doing that? You know what I'm saying? Don't jump on the bandwagon now because of what's going on with it now. I ain't just down in one person. I mean, fuck, I ain't down in nobody. I'm just being real. Everybody on the bandwagon now. Why? Because Trump got in there. President Trump jumped in the scene. Now everybody want to get in there and do it. Everybody want to say their peace. Everybody want to say their thing. Oh, you know, it's fucked up what the president say. No, it's fucked up that you wasn't in there at the beginning. You see what I'm saying? What was your voice at when the man first started doing this? People lost the reason why the man doing it. People forgot why the man doing it. Social injustice for us is why he doing it. Police brutality against African Americans is why he doing it. All black, not, you know, black lives matter is why he doing it. Me personally, I, all fucking lives matter. I don't give a fuck black, white, Mexican, purple, green, orange. I don't give a fuck who you is. You did? Your life shouldn't be taken for dumb shit just because somebody feel like they got the authority, the power to do so. But at the same time, you know, black lives do matter, man. They fucking over us out here, man. And I mean, most people are like, oh, huh, what can you do? What can you do? If most of us got together and did something, pretty sure we could change some shit. Remember, we did put a black man in the office. I'm just saying. So obviously, if we get together, we can change some shit, man. You know? Oh, Trump in there, we can't do shit, man. We can impeach that motherfucker. What do you mean? If if you don't like Trump, you can't impeach him. If you like Trump, then support the man. If you don't like the man, then don't support the man. It's that easy. Same thing with Colin Kaepernick. If you like the man, you can support him. Just because you like somebody don't mean you have to be on their team or whatever. But don't jump on because it's hot. Oh, it's hot. President on it. Oh, I'm... Watch, I got to say something now because you got a word, because you got a voice, because you're in the NFL, you're a celebrity. Now you want to say something. But when it was that one man by himself, wasn't nobody trying to be there for him. 
couple of his teammates or whatever, a few celebrities spoke up. Now it's a damn international, uh, I can't say problem. It's an international media thing now. Now everybody want to jump on a bandwagon. Oh, yeah, because they... Cause Colin Kaepernick, he disrespecting the flag. The man ain't ain't said nothing about the flag once, or whatever. So it ain't got nothing to do with the flag, man. So stay away from that. That's not the problem. The problem is most of you motherfuckers won't jump on the bandwagon, and y'all don't even know what's really happening, man. Come on, now. Follow me on Twitter, that real five hundred four, by the way. But people gotta understand, man, that. Don't jump up and start saying shit if you ain't going to try to be there from the beginning. You been knew this was going on. And now people all want to protest the NFL because they, they doing this and they doing that. Uh, you know, people burning their team's jerseys and stuff because the stuff they did. Well, oh, man, burn it. The NFL ain't buy that for you. You brought that for you from the NFL. So guess what? They already got their fed in, man. They already papered up off of that. However much you pay for it, they already got their money. So you burning it ain't doing nothing. Because guess what? That's still going to be your team. You still going to go buy merchandise. If you don't, so they don't care. Okay, so you're not going to buy for your team. My team is the Saints, by the way. Who that? He did. But are you going to go buy somebody else's team? Because whatever you buy as NFL merchandise, guess what? They getting a, they getting a percentage. They getting paid. And really, all this doing right now is making the NFL boom. Oh, that's all y'all doing. Man, this shit ain't going to hurt the NFL, man. It's not going to hurt the NFL. Did the Donald Sterling thing hurt the NBA? No. They sold him and made a man sell his fucking team. Colin Kaepernick, one person. Y'all made it a whole NFL thing because Donald Trump got into it. And now it's a whole NFL thing. Hmm. Y'all see where I'm going with that? That went over some of y'all head. I feel, let me bring it down so. One little measly black NFL celebrity football player made a little noise about it. Eh, not to. Big old mean white president get on there and 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 set the fire ablaze. It was just a little burning bush. Now it's a blaze. So it's a forest fire now. Everybody want to get in on it. You know, if I tell y'all making money off of something and you see I got a couple of dollars, you ain't believing it, but then when I pull up in that brand new Mercedes, you're like, damn, bro, what you doing? Why you ain't trying to put me on? Oh, now it's a blaze. Now you want to be involved, but when it was small and I was trying to get you on the team from the beginning, you weren't seeing it, but now it's big. Now you want to be on the team and make this money. That's the same thing just happened with Colin Kaepernick's situation. Oh, it wasn't nothing. Oh, fuck him. He a black quarterback. You don't want him anyway. He, he's stirring up the flag. Now I'm present on everybody. Oh, shit. President talking about the NFL. NFL is big in America, baby. America, NFL is big in America. So, them boys joining together because they don't want to lose them funds. They don't want to lose their money. They're like, shit, if the president trying to down us, we need to do something because this is the president. He probably can fuck us up. He ain't going to do nothing, man. NFL making too much money. Too much money. Too many people making money. So, all they're going to do is get together on his ass because they like this now. They spread apart. All they're going to do is get closer and closer and get together on his ass and strike on his ass. And you know, and they're gonna get something settled. He gonna be on TV soon apologizing, as they normally do when people fuck up or say something they felt like they shouldn't have said. I mean, but at the same time, to me, whether you dislike the president not to meet a man, a man and a man said what the man felt he wanted to say. I respect any man for saying what he wanted to say. I respect Colin Kaepernick for doing what he wanted to do, because in America we are free. We have the right to do those kind of things. And people mad at the man, but you forgot you live in a nation where people can do these kind of things. Then he was silently protesting. Y'all, the media made it big and all that, and it's all out. It's a wildfire now. We went from a burning bush to a wildfire because the media made it that way. He silently protested. He went all on social media, all on media sites, and all on news channels talking trash about it or whatever if he talked trash about the, the flag you showed me that uh the video of him saying and i apologize like oh my bad i didn't know he said that but from all the videos i seen of him just 
kneeling. I ain't see him talking about the flag or nothing. So the man ain't disrespecting the flag, so back up off of that. Okay, can we do that or whatever? Let's jump on. Let's not even jump on Trump. They're like, oh, he on Trump's side. He fucking on Trump's side. No. But Trump ain't the fucking problem with this situation. Colin Kaepernick is not the problem with this situation. You know who's the problem with this situation? The media is the problem with this situation. All you celebrities that's coming forward now is the problem with this situation. Well, y'all was... Y'all see him? I don't see him either. Where the fuck y'all been at? I don't know. Y'all just showed up. Or whatever. Now everybody won't got a problem with Everybody won't show up now. Where y'all been at, man? They been looking for y'all. Huh? What? I don't hear nothing. Exactly. Because it's a big issue now. Everybody want to get their name out there. So they can start getting their brands out there. I know what this is. It's all about this right here. You want to get your face out there, make it seem like you're doing something, huh? When that man was kneeling by himself. Damn, I'm, I'm kneeling by myself. Ain't nobody feel the same way. None of my black teammates, none of y'all. Nobody fucking with me on this. I'm, I, fuck it, I, I kneel by myself. Then they started to kneel with him. They started to come around. And I honestly think the man should be playing in the NFL for my personal opinion. Fuck what y'all think. If you... Oh, you can't say what he should. And man, it's my opinion. I can say that. But he should um he should be playing. Just based off the fact. I ain't saying he should be playing. Oh, because you're a black quarterback and you black, you think he should be playing? Fuck no, because there's a lot of black quarterbacks need to sit their ass down. I think he should be playing because there's other quarterbacks, black and white, that's playing in the NFL that he is better than. That's what I'm saying. Some of them who just recently got jobs shouldn't have got a job over this, man. Oh, but he's kneeling. We don't want to give this guy a job because he's kneeling and he's he's disrespecting the flag. And man, ain't disrespecting no flag. Cause if he was disrespecting the flag, I wouldn't even say nothing about him. Like, man, you know what? You can't be disrespecting the flag, man. And I agree with what he's kneeling for. I 100 percent agree why the man kneeling. Shit, I'm about to kneel right now for the same reason. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up to this. My right knee hurt me. I'll just kneel on the left. But he. He took a a quiet stand, something a lot of us don't do. We gotta be loud and uncommon about the things we doing. Like myself, I'm a loud, uncommon motherfucker, just to be real. That's just who I am. But people bashing him and you don't know the reason on why the man doing it. It's lost. Oh, he bashing the flag. Oh, he talking shit about the flag. No, he's not. The president don't even know why. You talking about people should be suspended and fired. For what? For doing what you are supposed to be helping us upkeep? Huh? Our rights? That's So you, the president of the United States, and you want to do something to somebody who doing what you should be fighting for us to be able to do? Yeah, I think you kind of missed the whole point of being a president, player. I don't know if you know. I mean, that's not all you're supposed to be doing, you know, but that's a big old part of it. Freedom in America, right? Justice in America, right? But we can do what the hell we want to do, right? You do what the hell you want to do. Why your fellow Americans can't do what they want to do? Hmm? Now everybody want to boycott the NFL. Let's boycott the NFL. Fuck no. Let's boycott these cigarette fucking companies who keep on selling these guys, making these cigarettes and selling them damn cigarettes to people. But that goes back to not just them, but you don't have to buy them. So I guess let's not boycott them. Just why I'm thinking about it because, you know, people still buying it. But I'm getting off subject here. But people want to boycott the NFL. Oh, we got to boycott them. We shouldn't watch their games and we shouldn't go to their games we shouldn't buy their merchandise let's burn our tickets player you brought them tickets them people ain't call you and say hey man you want some tickets come on down we gonna hand them to you nope ain't happening you brought them from jersey i ain't seen nobody outside hey man i got these jerseys they all brand new what size you where i give you one nope you brought them yes you did like my facebook page that real 504 t-h-a-t-r-e-a-l 504 i like it start posting on it for y'all i'll do some funny stuff for y'all because people like me to do funny things i like to do funny things too so 
but I had to touch this because everybody keep asking me about it. So I figured I'd make a video and let people know how I really felt about it. That way I can hit everybody at once. I have a sister who's also on here. Her page is Mia Monchelle. Y'all go like and share it. I'll post it down at the bottom. Uh, she got Mimo's Life. Y'all go like that too. I'll put it at the bottom. Um, Before I get up out of here, man, just before y'all start protesting about things, boycotting things, talking shit about people's names, know what's happening first. He's boycotting, well, he's not boy, he's kneeling not to disrespect the flag. He's doing it for social injustice. All lives matter to me, but he did it for black lives matter. Of course they matter, shit. They is fucking all of us. He did it for police brutality against the black man. They're killing us, man, unarmed. Y'all see the videos? Boys is getting off. I ain't against the police. I'm against the fucking police who don't. Give yeah, fuck what color you is. If you black and you did it, fuck you too. Fuck, if you killing unarmed men, human beings, you fucked up, man. Come on. For no reason? Yeah. But I'm going to get out. Y'all like subscribe share we're gonna start having fun on this thing man i promise y'all that or whatever but you know just be real stop burning your goddamn team jersey you know you're gonna be crying when sunday coming you ain't got the fucking oh with my breeze jersey oh bitch you burn my breeze jersey i didn't i didn't say that so stop burning y'all people jerseys stop burning y'all tickets i know y'all still won't go to the game man really you don't want to go to the game all right your team gonna go to the Super Bowl this year, watch. Then you're gonna be upset, but oh well. I'm out. Get a fucking man a football job. The man still can call the back. He could be somebody second string somewhere on some team. I know some teams who need him right now. Believe that. I'm out.